Alright everybody, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video guys, and today we're going to look at a card that may or may not have been decent now with Guardians Rising coming out, and that guy is going to be Incineroar GX. Incineroar GX came out in Base Sun and Moon, never really saw much play at all, it's an interesting card, but unfortunately it's kind of just held back. But today guys, we're going to see if Incineroar GX has potential to be a good deck now. Now, Incineroar GX also got a Rainbow Rare in Guardians Rising, which is pretty cool. Now, Incineroar GX has the attack Hustling Strike, which is kind of the goal of this attacker, is to use Hustling Strike. So, it does 10 plus 20 more damage for each of your bench fire Pokemon. Now, you would usually use Incineroar with Ninetales. Now, the reason we don't actually play Ninetales now is because of Garbodor's popularity, and also because Field Blower's in the format. So, Ninetales is kind of just not good anymore with Incineroar, because... Most decks are going to play um, Field Blower, and Ninetales isn't going to be able to work with the Field Blower in the format. I just don't think that this Ninetales can work anymore. Plus, a Stage 2 with, like, a Ninetales and Skyfield would mean you'd also have to play, like, a ton of, like, cards to get back your Pokemon. So, Incineroar, unfortunately, I just don't think works as a Skyfield deck. I think it's better just as a... One attack cost for two with a 250 HP monster using Max Potion. I I think that's going to be the way to play Incineroar. Unfortunately, I just don't think the new Ninetales is going to cut it because of Field Blower and other like things that can get in the way of Ninetales being good with Incineroar. Incineroar is a stage two, meaning you'd have to use Candy, which means you'd already have to dig pretty hard as it is, which you know complicates things even more. Now, Incineroar is just going to be good as itself, and we're just going to want to fill up our bench with Fire Pokemon. We do play some interesting cards in this deck, which you might be wondering. Like, we have one Ninja Boy in the deck. And the reason we have Ninja Boy is because we're going to probably be using Tapu Lele and or Shaman on our bench, meaning we will have the Ninja Boy one back. This way, we can just use Ninja Boy with Tapu Lele, swap it for a basic Fire Pokemon, so that we don't have to use that, nin you know, we don't have to have, have ourselves do 10 less damage. Because Shaman and Tapu Lele, if you haven't guessed already, are not fire types, meaning they do not add damage to Incineroar's attack. And if we have them on the bench, it, the attack just isn't doing as much damage. So at least with Ninja Boy, we can just swap out a Tapu Lele or Shaman on our bench with a fire basic Pokemon so we can do more damage. It's just nice. Now, if you do the math, a full bench means we're doing this. So one bench Pokemon, we're doing 30, okay? Two bench Pokemon, we're doing 50. Three bench Pokemon, we are doing 70. Four bench Pokemon are doing 90. And then a full bench of fire Pokemon, we're doing 110 damage, which isn't a whole lot of damage. Um, That's not a lot of damage at all. However, with Choice Band now, we actually can do 140 damage for one energy, which is really, really powerful. 140 for one energy on a 250 HP attacker, that's nothing really to shy away from. Now, Incineroar does also have some other problems. Weak to Water means Water Toolbox, Lapras, a Ninetales, even Gyarados. They're kind of just going to smack Incineroar in the face and knock it out really easily. That's one of the biggest downfalls of using Incineroar is it's weak to Water, and Water is very popular right now. And yeah, but other than that, if you're not playing against Water Deck, then uh, Incineroar can be a tank with Hustling Strike. 250 HP is not a number that is easy to hit unless you're weak to it or you're they're using Solvaleo with a Choice Band. So Incineroar is definitely a tanky card. Also, being a fire type means it can hit for grass. It can hit those grass weak Pokemon. Um, Pokemon weak to fire, sorry. Um, like Lorantis, Decidueye. They get smoked by Incineroar, which is still really nice and maybe even... Um, any other grass types like Golisopod. Now, Incineroar did also gain a pretty new partner with Guardians Rising, and that is Oricorio. Oricorio is pretty cool. It's got this attack, Passionate Dance. For one fire, you search your deck for up to three basic fire Pokemon and then put them onto your bench. This is really good um, because you start with Oricorio, you basically just set up your entire bench. Now, with Incineroar, you don't have to use, like, Bridget or Fan Club or a bunch of, you know, level balls. We can just use Oriokori and be like, all right, man, I'm going to turn one you with Oriokorio and put three fire Pokemon on my bench. They're obviously basics, but that's the point. Now, there's a lot of cards you may notice in this deck. Like, we do play Switch in the deck, and we also have, like, Floatstone and Olympia. And doing this turn one Ori Corio is very, very important. Now, I could run three of these guys. And the reason I don't actually play three of these in the deck is because they're really just there to start with. Once you get your Ori Corio down, you can try and switch or retreat into it. 
Um, we do play Baby Volk in this deck. Baby Volk is just a nice fire type non EX attacker that can build up your Pokemon. Um, we do play one EX fire type in this deck, and that is Flareon EX. It's a nice attacker by itself. Um, you never know. You could actually maybe set up a Blaze Ball down the road, and then you know build up a Blaze Ball on the bench or something, and then boom, you got your Flareon ready to go, and then Flareon maybe can start sweeping. It's a possibility. You gotta consider. Um, those are all the fire types we play. Again, we're only going to really have five bench spaces for fire Pokemon. You know what I mean? So it's not like we really need all that much, right? We got, you know, four right here. We got four more. We got eight. We got nine. That's nine fire Pokemon plus rescue stretcher. I think we're good on bench space for fire Pokemon, guys. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, so yeah, we do play one Shea in the deck, and we do play one Tapu Lele. I would go like two Shays, one Tapu, but the problem is, is because of the fact that these are not fire Pokemon, having them on the bench would just mean we're doing less damage, so when we have a Shaman on bench, it's just not doing as much damage. Um, but those are all of our Pokemon. I don't know what other fire Pokemon you could add to the deck. You could use Talonflame with Talonflame Break if you wanted to. Um, I guess you could throw in, like, more baby Volcanians. You can throw in, if you really want to, you can run a... Third, Ori Corio, if you really, really want to. Um, other fire type basics. I guess if you never really need to use um, Burning Slam GX, if Cinderous GX attack is really bad, it's not really that good, you're never going to need it, and you're probably never going to use it. Same with Tiger Swing. So I guess if you want, you can throw in like Tortonator GX just for Nitro Tank. I mean, I don't think it would work, but I mean, if you really want to, you can put Tortonator in this deck if you really want. Um, you maybe put like Baby Entei in the deck too. Um, there's lots of options um, for fire types. So these are the fire types I think work pretty nicely with Tur um, not Turnator, with Incineroar GX. So yeah, those are all of our Pokemon. We got four Littons. We do play two Tauricats. And the reason we play two of these is because obviously Vileplume is pretty popular right now. So we got to play two of those. So now we go into the items. We got three Max Potions. Max Potion is amazing with a 250 HP attacker with only using one energy to really work. It's really nice because if your opponent's going to struggle with a one-shot Incineroar, then you just Max Potion all that damage off and then reattach a fire energy, that's how that works. Four rare candies, I'm going all in with four because this deck isn't very good when you can't get Incineroar quick enough, like Baby Volcanian isn't really that good of an attacker without Bait well, like Volcanian. You could flurry on them too, but it would take a few turns to set up, unless you use Baby Volk. Or Ikorio, obviously you're never going to attack with this thing because of Kindle, so four rare candies just means we can get an Incineroar out as quick as possible. It ensures the best odds of pulling off like a turn two Incineroar Huss and Strike. Uh, we do play one Rescue Stretcher, again, just to get back our Pokemon. We do play one Switch. Um, you know, Incineroar has a 3 retreat cost, Baby Volk has a 2 retreat cost, and that's very important. Also, with Switch, it means if we can get an Ori and Corio on the bench, we can, you know, just switch out into it on turn 1, and then just use Passionate Dance, and that's how that works. That's kind of why. That's my reasoning behind the Switch. 3 Trainer's Mail. We do have a lot of important items like Rare Candy. Um, you could always go to Trainer's Mail. If you really want to. Four Ultra Balls for searching. We got four VS Seekers, four Hour Supporters. We do play a few supporters in here that are techie. Um, you know, you got your standard Lysanders. You got your standard three ends as draw support. You got your four sickest for draw support. But we also play one Olympia. Again, Incineroar does have a three retreat cost, and that's not very good. And also, you know, you don't really want to have a baby Vulk in the active and doing 20 a turn. Uh, we do play Ninja Boy. Again, this is so we can Ninja Boy out like our Tapu Lele and get it back into the deck and then, you know, swap it out for a basic fire Pokemon. One could it just allows us to do more damage. Unfortunately, we're only doing 150 max with this, which, you know, isn't very good, but it's still nice just in case. Uh, four Professor Sycamores for your draw support again, um, and we do play, like, all those supporters. Other supporters you could technically add if you really wanted to is you can maybe throw in Center Lady for the healing if you want. I mean, I guess, sure, I don't know if that's good or not. Um, really, that's the only supporter I can think of, to be honest with you. Lily, I guess, wouldn't be bad either, but again, those are all I can think of. Uh, we do play three Choice Band in the deck, so we can do more damage with Hustling Strike, obviously. We got one Float Stone, again, you know, having that free retreat on stuff like Baby Vulk and Flareon are nice, because those Pokemon do have more of a retreat cost, you know what I mean? So, yeah, we got eight Fire Energies. I play eight because we are going to use Max Potion a lot, and I don't play Super Rod in this deck, and that's mainly because we have Baby Volcanian, which we can still use as a way to power stuff up. So it's like we really don't need that. So yeah, this is the Incineroar GX deck. Does Incineroar have potential to be good now in the standard format? Let's find out by hopping into some matches with it and see it in action in PDCGO. See you guys in just a sec. Okay, let's find some games with our Incineroar deck. And obviously, if you're playing against a water deck, you're kind of screwed. Again, I don't think this deck can be like a water matchup, unfortunately. But looks like our first game will not be against a water deck. Probably going to be against Tapu Coco, which could be a brutal matchup, depends on how this goes. We'll see. Again, Incineroar has always been a bit weak. 
Um, maybe because of the speed of the format and water's popularity, maybe it just can't cut it right now. Maybe down the road when maybe more XY sets rotate and maybe when Sun and Moon is only like the new standard, like Sun and Moon on, something like that. Maybe Incineroar can be revived within the format. Who knows? But again, for now, I think it's a decent rogue deck. Um, I think we just start Litten here and we can bench some fire Pokemon. Um, it's possible to turn to Incineroar. I'm not going to doubt my opposition. Um, depends on what kind of lightning deck it is. It could be Raikou Electrode, it's most likely Tapu Koko. Or it's the new Pikachu EX, confirmed to be the best deck in the meta. This thing right here, it's, you want your answer to Garbodor, you want your answer to Sylveon, you want your answer to Tapu Koko and Tapu Lele decks. Here you go, you got the brand new Pikachu. We do see him play a Bridget though, which is interesting. Pikachu, we can one-shot with a Choice Band and a full bench of Fire Pokemon, so that's going to be pretty decent. You know, Pikachu is very fragile. We don't have Field Blower in this deck, which is something you could add. Um, I, again, I can't really find room. Like, with the format right now, there's so many items you can use. There's Mayo, Candy, you got, like, Rescue Stretcher, Via Seeker, Ultra Ball, any other ball, you know, balls you want to use. It's too many. My opponent is Bridget's for 1EX, uh, just a Pikachu. Well, then, that's certainly interesting. Um, sure. Ooh, turn to Incineroar War is gonna happen. Uh, can he knock me out with Thundershock? Nah, it's only gonna do 30. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could just tempt him here, and then next turn we'll just rare candy Incineroar. I mean, it's only 30 damage, it's not even gonna tickle me. And then he can't even follow up with a Mega Thunderbolt knockout. Which is fine. I could also end and then play a little risky. He didn't, all he did was Bridget and an energy attachment. He did nothing else. He might have a dead hand. I think I'm just going to go mail here. Just get, okay, there we go. We got a, we got a Sicka. That, that's perfect. So we don't have to end him next turn. I think I'm just going to pass and be like, yo fam, I have a turn two Incineroar GX. If you can't knock me out or respond to that, I'm going to get a 250 HP attacker in play. And I might be able to take out your Pikachu EX and leave you stranded. But looks like he's attached to his bench. He, he sees it. Now, he still technically needs to get five lightning energies to knock me out. Oh, he had a Sycamore. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. At least he didn't end me or anything. You know what I mean? Special charge. Okay, it's only one lightning. Did he, wait, didn't he already discard a special charge? No, that's an energy recycler. <laughs> there you go. Uh, we'll see what other attackers he plays, though. Again, we can one-shot these Pikachu EXs fairly easily. They're not really that hard to knock out. Um... Ninja Boy, all right, that is fine. We can Ultra Ball away. You know, kind of, it doesn't really matter. I was like, we can keep the Tora Cat. We got to get rid of it, though. Get ourselves Incineroar GX. So it looks like all of our Oricorios are in the deck. Same with all of Litten. So we have most of our Fire Pokemon in the deck, which is really nice. Uh, now, the question poses, can we take out this Pikachu this turn? If not, I'm going to cry. We need to get a lot off of this. It might not be possible. It might be. And, yeah, we're not. <laughs> we, we didn't hit much. Unfortunately, might have to just end him next turn. And we're just going to Hustling Strike for a measly 50 damage. Which is still funny because this Pikachu still took up a lot of damage off of that. Because it's only got 130 HP. Kind of whiffed pretty hard there. We got two of our max potions. I might just have to end him, guys. Because there's no way I'm going to just sick him more away these VS Seekers. And especially those max potions. In a matchup where my opponent is really going to struggle to take out my uh, thing in one hit. I think max potion is just very crucial. Lily for one card. Very nice. I'm still going to end you, though, um, just because I don't want to get rid of these cards. Switch, okay. Um, yeah, we got to go in. Sure. Kind of sucks, but hopefully we can find at least two more Fire Pokemon. Um, okay, we didn't. All right, I can attach a Flareon, though. Turns like this where you can attach is nice. I mean, we could also set up Tiger Swing and Burning Slam, but what fun is that? We have Rescue Stretcher, we can get Torcat, and yeah, that's not really anything useful. I guess we just Hustling Strike for a measly 70. I could have attached to this, but again, it's not really that hard. I just literally got to fill my bench up and get a Choice Band on, which is really easy to do. He actually might go for a Thundershock. He is going to drop down a Shaman for one card, which is, again, you know, not, not very optimal for my opponent to do Shaman for the one card. But you, you never know, maybe my opponent's going to be some crazy thing. Nope, just a Steven. I mean, obviously, I mean, this isn't really a competitive game. Um, it's better than playing against a water deck, though, you know what I mean? It's be better than getting beat down by a water deck. I mean, maybe you could put Bridget in this deck, I don't know. Um, looks like he's gonna try for Thundershock, though. Uh, if it gets heads, we still have our Switch, and we still have, like, Float. I mean, even our Olympia we still have. There's still options out of it. I mean, it's not really gonna do much damage, either. It's only doing 30. 
Like, I don't even need to max potion it off. So, it's like, discarding this max potion isn't a big deal. Hammer, though. Oh, and it hits heads. If he's discarding energy on my Incineroar, that just gives me the free max potion anyways. Okay, well, thank you. Now I can just do max potion for free. Um, sure. Now, hopefully this doesn't get heads. Okay, nice. Well, thank you for uh, hitting me. Okay, really? Alright, at least we aren't really going to get paralyzed any other time soon. It's not really a big deal. We're going to lose our rescue stretcher, which kind of sucks. Rip, but whatever. Um, wow, we are whiffing our fire Pokemon. I mean, we are still knocking him out, which is nice, but we are whiffing. Um, yeah, do we need to grab anything here? I don't think we need the choice band. Definitely don't want the BS Seeker. I think, yeah, we don't grab anything. That's fine. No Ultra Balls either, which kind of sucks. I would have liked to have gotten another Litten down. Uh, I guess we have to do Shaman. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. We can still go Ninja Boy. We can still do the Ninja Boy play. Maybe show it off why I like it. Okay, there's another Litten. Nice. Okay, good. So now we're going to knock him out Hustling Strike for 120 damage. Now we just, next turn, we just Ninja Boy out the Shaman, because Ninja Boy is in my discard. We Ninja Boy out Shaman into a Fire Pokemon, take out his Pikachu EX in one hit, and my opponent is going to get salty and cry, and I'm going to laugh. No, it's not going to get salty, but it'll be funny. It'll be a pretty funny play when we actually do it. And yeah, I mean, my opponent's going to have to, like, threaten me with, like, a Tapu Koko or, like, Raikou, something like that. Just something that can hit me really hard and two-shot me. Because if not, this Pikachu, it's not really doing anything. Um, so my opponent goes Professor Sycamore, dumping all of his supporters. He is low on these supporters. He's used to all of his Sycamores. He has, like, that's four Sycamores, right? Chops Pikachu. I'm not going to, like, playing some Pika Box deck, Crushing Hammer, and it doesn't really matter. Um, it's all good. Another cr Why? This dude plays Hammers, man. I thought those Hammers were, like, just in his deck because, like, he had nothing else to put in. But it looks like he relies on Hammers. I have a handful of fire, so, I mean, that doesn't hurt me. I mean, I, it would have been nice to put a spare energy on Flareon, I guess, but whatever. Over Spark for 50 damage. Wow, that tickled. Um, but yeah, I think we just do the Ninja Boy play. I'll show you guys why I like the Ninja Boy in this deck. It saves our Shaman from being knocked out also, because Shaman is always a liability around Incineroar, so it's always nice to do this. I think we just got ourselves another Litten down while we're at it. And boom. Look at that, folks. Look at that. We are about to hustling strike him for 140 damage. And now you can see the power of Incineroar against a Pikachu. And I mean, basically, win at this point. There's a Lysander. So we can knock out Shaman next turn and win us the game. Very quick win. I know my opponent just concedes. He's like, yeah, I can't beat the hustling strike. The hustle's real, folks. Let's just see what his deck was. Oh my god, this guy played so much Pikachu. Yeah, I guess he's doing some like weird Pika deck challenge thing. He's challenging himself. Maybe, you know, he's having some fun. Maybe he's getting bored of playing all these competitive decks. And, you know, he kind of just wanted to chill out a little bit and play, like, a Pikachu deck. You know, just have some fun. Play a, play an absurd, wacky deck, which isn't that bad. I want to do a series like that where I use, like, weird decks. Um, I feel like that's kind of a little oversaturated right now. There's a lot of series on YouTube for PCGO YouTubers that have these series where they use, like, bad or, like, weird decks, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, well, not oversaturated, but something that isn't really original. And I'd rather have originality over just, you know, blatantly stealing content. Or just blatantly copying people and, you know, going with the grain. You gotta go against the grain, as my boy Negan said. Now, it looks like we are up against a grass deck. No, it's Tapu Koko. I, actually, I can't remember the typing. I'm pretty sure it was Tapu Koko, though. I mean, he's got the sleeves and everything. But, hey, it's not a water deck. I can't complain as long as it's not water. I need to turn the lamp on in my room to get dark in here. My room is boiling hot, too. I had to close the window because someone was lawn mowing outside. I'm like, can't have that in the video. The mic might pick it up, so. Yeah. Uh, we'll draw a few cards here, which isn't bad. All right, there's a Litten. Nice, we can put that down. If it's Tapu Koko, yep, it looks like he plays, like, Carbink, too. But, you know, we don't play Sylveon. Carbink is a really underrated card. I think a lot of decks should play a few of these Carbink, like, basic Pokemon decks that are scared of other matchups where they get rid of their... Um, things like this thing, does it block Flare Drop? I think it does. Yeah. I think that uh, people really should be adding Carbink into their basic basic attacker decks. Any decks that use basic Pokemon, Carbink with Energy Keeper is a very, very good card to use. Because they can't get rid of your basic energies. And those Sylveon decks, those Quad Lapras decks, those decks that just play Hammers in general, they won't like Carbink. Um, we'll see how this game goes, though. It is Tapu Koko, so... He can still smack me pretty hard. It's not going to one-shot me, though, and I don't know if I'm even going to be able to put enough energy in play for him to do that. Finding Fairy Belt kind of helps him. We're still going to two-shot. It's not like we were one-shotting any with the Incineroar. Ooh, he has to get rid of a Tapu. That's good. I mean, yeah, again, like, we're not really one-shotting with the Incineroar anyways, you know what I mean? So it's not really a big deal. 
We don't have a way to block this Aether Paradise, though, which... That kind of sucks. Max Potion. That is not the top deck I want to see right now. I mean, I couldn't enjoy the active going to Baby Volk. Maybe I should just put an energy on my, uh... Baby... I should have done that. I should have just... Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. How many cards is Shaman getting us? One? That's fine. Whatever. Sure. Strong extra card with Shaman. I don't... Uh, Lysander? Alright, that's a card I didn't want to draw into. That's good. I don't really like putting Shaman on the bench where my opponent... You can't really dump that Aether Paradise, but it's fine. Okay, we do have an Incineroar for next turn, which is nice. Yeah, I think we just pass. Gonna go for Baby Volk next turn, too. We have a lot we can do with this hand, which is nice. Hopefully, we can find a way to attack him next turn. I would like to get the first hit on him, though. But, you know, if we can't, it is what it is. Field Blower. Please get rid of your Aether Paradise back, Sitting Kappa. Uh, Rip Choice Band. And he ends me. This hand was awesome. We, we could have done so much with it. Dang it. Please give me an even better hand. Give me like a Switch Rare Canyon Cinnamore Sycamore. Mm -hmm. Kinda close. Not really though. Uh, not really that close. Okay, Males Mid. At least like he's not really pulling off any crazy plays. Which is good. Choice Band. Uh, okay, I don't know if my opponent's going to be running multiple copies of Field Blower. But we'll find out. Oh, we didn't get Candy. Oh no. We didn't get the Rare Candy. I guess we just Ultra Ball and we're gonna have to get a Toracad down. Kinda sucks, we whipped candy. We're gonna lose our Incineroar. Did we lose our rescue structure too? No, we didn't. Okay, that's fine. Alright, we just grabbed Toracat. We still have both Incineroars yeah, three candies. Hopefully we can get an Incineroar down this turn nonetheless. Uh, I don't even know if we want to attack with it though. You know, if we still hit it, we can still, you know, do it. You know, it's all good. Yeah, sure. Alright, come on, Incineroar. We can also get rescue stretcher candy. There's a lot of options. Alright, we hit it. Ba barely, barely hit it, but we hit it. Uh, get rid of Sika, and I guess just get rid of Fire. We kind of have no choice. We have to do it. I needed to put the bulk down, too, so that's fine. How many max potions have I played? Just preparing. Alright, one. That's fine. Okay, here we go. We will candy into the Incineroar. We can float the Flareon, and we have three fires, four. Okay, we haven't played that many fire energies, which isn't bad. Uh, so we can retreat into the Incineroar. And Hustling Strike, I don't think it actually knocks him out. No, it does 70 damage. Wow. But we, if we ever need to, we can Lysander him. I don't know. We might play Max Potion, though. It's Power of Jolteon, but, you know, well, we in Evolution, so it's all good. And that's Sycamore. He could Tapu Koko me this turn, and it looks like he will do just that. Hmm. Maybe you could put some Lab in this deck. Maybe, like, we don't really use any basic abilities other than Lele and Shaman. So, I mean, Sign Lab wouldn't be too bad in this deck. And we just see a Sky High Claws... For a whopping 160 damage. Oh, my Incineroar. My poor, poor Incineroar. Alright, here we go. Sika. Max Potion and a Fire Energy would be great. And another Incineroar. Let's see. Max Potion. We got it, but we didn't get the Fire, though. That's rip. Oh, I would have gotten... I would have loved to get an Energy down. We're probably going to have to attack with this thing. If I'm be honest with you. I could Max Potion and try and live another turn. Does that matter, though? Like, if, I don't think it matters. If we let him knock me out, we can end him to four, which wouldn't make it bad either. Yeah, sure. Could move the energy to Flareon, but we're not going to be able to tackle it. If we had an energy, I would have loved to have done that, but I guess we just Hustling Strike for a whopping 90 damage, but it's still going to get knocked out because he has a Choice Band on it, so. We could still maybe cake him out with Incineroar. It's not over yet. We can maybe knock him out next turn. Drops a Tauros down. A Via Seeker, probably for Sycamore again? Good Center Lady, too. Might actually go Center Lady. Hmm. Center Lady would change it, and he's going Center Lady. Awesome. Lovely, man. Lovely. Alright, rip. Rip the knockout. Oh my god. Alright, rip Incineroar. This is why Incineroar, man, it, it doesn't work. It just, it's, it's a poopy card. It's not poopy, but it is poopy. Alright, if we can get another Incineroar here, that'd be awesome. No, we didn't. Alright. Gotta go in. Hopefully we can find a Fire Energy so we can start putting the Energy back in play. Okay, nice, 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 nice. We got the Incineroar, but I don't really want to play that Ultra Ball quite yet. I mean, we already have an Incineroar in play. It's not really that big of an issue. Sadly, Volcanian's only got 130 HP. We're not even a damaging him here because that Aether Paradise, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Yeah, we just go Incineroar and Flareon. I don't want to put too much energy in play. I don't want to walk into a Tapu Thunder one-shot on an Incineroar, so we got to watch out for that. 
think we just chill. Bench the Ori Corio and kind of just go from there, I guess. Sure. Lightning to that Jolteon. Ah, oh, man, this type of Coco deck is giving me giving me a run for its money, man. It's putting in work. At least we can still end him down to a lower hand size, which isn't bad. How much is he doing? 150, 180 in total. So I think we can attach another energy. It won't kill us. Can we take him out with the Kikui? Nah, that eight. If, if the Aether Paradise was in play, I would have done the Kui. I think it doesn't matter though, right? Because it's reducing by 30. Yeah, it's not going to matter. We do find a Rescue Stretcher, which is lovely. I think I'm going to play that right now. Let's do it. Rescue Stretcher. Shuffle three Pokemon. Yeah, I think we do that. That's fine. And we will get ourselves a Litten and an Incineroar. And actually, why am I? I've got to get the Rainbow Rare back. Yeah. All right. Uh, do we Ultra Ball? I don't really want it. We have a Max Potion in our hand, so after he attacks us here, we can Max Potion and heal ourselves off. If he goes into another Tapu Coco, I think we're going to be in some huge trouble. Another Field Blower. Oh, he plays two. Oh my goodness, folks. Oh my god. There goes our Float Stone, too, which kind of sucks. Sika. If he hits another Tapu Coco. He plays, how many Pokemon does this guy play? He plays a Trampa, a Tauros, Tapu Coco, Tapu Lele. This dude's got a GX Box deck. Ultra. Oh god, he's gonna go Tapu Coco, isn't he? And before his other Tapu Coco is prized. Nope, it's not. <laughs> if we had a VS Seeker, we could have taken him out. <laughs> oh, the blood, sweat, and tears right now, folks. The blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> oh my god. Holy cow. This dude's got a lot of energy in play, too. That's still pretty tough. I mean, this win is... I don't even... Is it possible at this point? I don't even know if the win is possible, man. Jeez. I think we only got one energy left. Can we knock him out? No, we don't have a choice band on us. I could do Kiwi. He's only got two cards in his hand, so... Yeah, sure. We'll we'll leave him at two cards. Let's just use Kikyu. I know we're not knocking him out, but it's fine. Let's go mail. Lysander. Oh, we'll get the candy. Could have got Lysander. I'll get another Incineroar down this turn. Get rid of these two. I could use the end down the road, but I don't think he's going to take me out this turn unless this dude cooking Lysander. How many VS Seekers have he used? Two. Might have one in his hand. He is kind of long cards, too. Might regret this play down the road. I don't know. Well, let's just go into the Incineroar. We still have options, folks. Still have our options. Hustling Strike for not a knockout. Only 80. Only 80? Oh, yeah, the Choice Ban. I was like, why was it doing so less damage? We can't even two-shot this thing. Oh, my God. If we can find, like, our Switch or Olympia, we can go into Flareon and knock him out. Flareon's the only thing. I think that... No, it's not. No, it's not. Not even Flareon can knock him out. Oh, my God. This is brutal. Holy crud. There's no point attacking him here, I don't think. Man, this is tough. This is tough. Best thing we can do is end him to one next turn and hope to win, but he's still got Mad Bull. He's still got Tapu Lele. He's still got a Jolteon. We can't even hit him with Flareon. I guess we just... Uh, he can also just retreat into Jolteon, too. This Aether Paradise is making all... If this thing... If that Aether Paradise wasn't in play, we would actually be in a lot better position right now. Do we just go Flash Fire, or do we just Hustling Strike him and Hustling Strike him again? Uh, I don't know. We don't even have any energy left. So, we can't use Max Potion. Saving the energy might be a smarter move. I don't know. The win's really hard anyway. I don't even know if we can win at this point. I'm just going to hit him for 60. Like, I don't even think we can win. I I don't think we have the win. I think we're kind of just screwed at this point. Can't, yeah. Might as well just try our hardest. Like, you get how much energy this man's got in play. Okay. This is where comebacks are made of, folks. We have one energy, one in If we can hit an end of one... And maybe Lysander shenanigans could win us the game. I don't know. Hustling strike. Knock him out. What are we going to get? I, I don't think we can get anything that can help us. Max Potion. That's not. Via Seeker. That can help us. We can Via Seeker for end of one. He probably has a Via Seeker though for Lysander on like a knockout on Shaman. 
Now he goes in Tapu Koko too. That 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 works too. I think yeah, we lost the game. We can't really do anything right now, guys. Yeah, but you see here, I'm just gonna concede. Just nah. You ain't getting you ain't getting that knockout. Too bad. Alright. Rip us. Oh, that Aether Paradise, man. I'm, I hate that card. Dude, that card is I mean it's not even a bad card. I mean it's not even a good card, sorry. But yeah, you can kind of see why Incineroar can't be too good there. That matchup was a little brutal since, obviously, he kind of just smoked us. That Aether Paradise made all the difference because it just made us not be able to even two-shot him. Which, yeah, you can see why I don't really like Incineroar GX that much. Again, it's got more potential, but, you know, it is what it is. We do find our Oricorio. Um, We could be against Trevenin here. We'll see if we're going to be against either Trevenin or a Lurantis deck or Decidueye. Lorantis it is. Alright, I am fine with that. I'm just gonna attach to Flareon, go N here. Uh if he plays Vileplume, I really do need to find like a Litten. Okay, there we go. We got Tapalele too. Two bands. I'm gonna hold on to that. I mean he still could Vileplume me, I guess, but I think we can hold on to it for one turn. I might regret that. I might regret that. I might regret that, but we're just not even gonna bother. We're just gonna pass and just let him let him do his thing. And then next turn we'll go go ham. Probably not even gonna need passionate dance. Um the question is if I can't pull off a turn one center or turn two center or next turn, I'll step away for Sycamore and do whatever, but if I can't do it, I can't do it. Parallel, that's gonna stay in play forever. But he doesn't play Force Giant Plants for some reason, which is kind of interesting. Choice band still allows us to one shot this thing, I'm pretty sure, so it's not even a big deal. Maybe, yeah, maybe this deck needs a stadium. I think this deck definitely needs a stadium now, to be honest. Maybe the Ninja Boy wasn't so good. Hmm. Yeah, I'm starting to not like the. I'm not starting to not like that now. We'll see what other attackers he plays. If he plays Plume, which I'm starting to doubt now because he just dropped a Parallel City on me, so I guess he doesn't play Force. I guess this is just like Lorantis with Promo Lorantis. That's kind of my best guess right now. But we can kind of just smack him with different Fire types, which is always nice. The Parallel could be a bit of a pain though. Just see a grass, and I mean, anything else? Sycamore? So he does play Force. He also plays Max Elixir. So I guess, does he play like Tapu Bulu? Is that even out yet? I don't even think Tapu Bulu is out yet. I mean, he can only have three bench bases too, which isn't too terrible. Honestly, I think it would have been worse for us if he made us have less bench space. So, yeah, I'm grateful he made us have do 20 less damage. He's putting it, I'm surprised he didn't put it on that, because we can still knock him out next turn. Max Potion. Really? Alright, well, I think we just go Ultra Ball and get rid of, we gotta get rid of a Choice Band, guys. Kinda sucks, but whatever. We will get ourselves another Litten. We could grab Toracat, but I'm gonna go all in and see if I can hit the Rare Candy thing this turn. I don't know. Let's do it. Tapu Bulu, or Tapu Lele. I don't know why I said Tapu, I don't even know if Tapu Bulu's out yet. It could be. Maybe this dude's playing a Tapu Bulu deck. He plays Max Elixir, right? So, anything is possible. We go all in, we hit Candy, we hit Incineroar, we hit a Fire Energy, or not. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're playing it risky here, folks. We're, we're doing the risk. If not, we can do the. Yeah, we didn't. Oh, it's possible. It is possible. Rare, we need Rare Candy and Ultra. Yeah, yeah, we, we whipped it. <laughs> oh, no. Um. Hmm. Wow, we are. Whiffing pretty hard there. I could have gone. Well, I should have grabbed Lysander. Eh. Can't knock him out with Bite. Uh, I think we just attached a Flareon and pass. I guess we just sacrificed the poor little Litten that could, and then knock him out with Flareon. Turn this into the Flareon show. Yeah, that kind of sucks. So we kind of came up a little short there. I mean, it was possible we got the two males, but unfortunately the deck just doesn't like me today. It doesn't like me today, but it's fine. If he doesn't find Lorantis, which you never know, maybe, maybe he was Lorantis. Probably not, though. Max Elixir. I, what, Max Elixir is weird. Is this like Golly Sopod with Lorantis or something? I, I'm very confused. I guess he does play Tapu Bulu. I mean, that's kind of my best guess. He doesn't play Evolutions either, which you'd think, like, if he didn't play Vileplume with Lorantis, it would be like Evolutions. I don't even know if Tapu Bulu is out. I guess he's playing Tapu Bulu. I am very confused right now. But unfortunately, our poor Litten is going to go down to a Lorantis GX. But I think we can knock him out, right? No, we're actually not. We're actually... Oh, we're short. Oh my god, these parallel cities are killing me.
parallel cities or Kiwi? Oh, no, we got Kiwi. It's fine. We got Kiwi. It's all good. I was like, these parallel cities are starting to really kill me, but we got ourselves a Kiwi. That will allow us to take a knockout, so that's nice. So here we go. Can we get Rare Candy and Cinderor? Wishful thinking. But we Blaze Ball him, take out this Lorantis GX for 220 damage. Shout out to the Kiwi. And yeah, there you go. Rare Candy, Shaman, no. No, no Incineroar. I don't even think Incineroar is prized. But hopefully we can pull one off next turn. He could end me to 4-2, but we can kind of just sweep him with Flareon, I think. We just got to watch out for Chlorocyte. But um, again, we can just build up the, uh, the, the Incineroar too, so it's all good. Sick of man. This dude, he's not missing a beat with his supporters. And if he wants to hit me with the Lorantis, that's fine. I'll just knock him out with another Flareon and keep leaving him in the dust. Ooh, one Lorantis is prized. And his Field Blower is prized too, which is good. Um, so we can't get rid of my uh, Floatstone and stuff. He might just sacrifice a uh, thing here. I don't have Lysander. Yeah, I don't. Oh my gosh. We don't got Lysander. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, he's sacrificing Shaman. Interesting. Okay, I'm fine with that. Sure. Let's get ourselves an Incineroar down. Oh, I should have checked to see if we had a choice band. My bad. That's my bad. All right, whatever. Here we go. We'll get the Incineroar down. And I guess we put a Fire Energy on the Flare. We got to put it on Flare. i take a knockout. Might just hold on to this hand, too, because we got the VS Seekers, right? How many have we played? Yeah, we can. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we're one shot, and we don't need the Q anymore. I mean, we kind of need from Incineroar, I guess. But it's fine to just do the VS Seeker. If it wants to play. There we go. Yeah. Grab the Sycamore. That's fine. I still need to maybe find, like, rare candies and stuff for, like, our own Cinnamore. So here we go. Can we find anything? Okay, we found ourselves a choice band. We also have Rescue Stretcher. No, there's no point in playing it right now. We can definitely use that get Flareon back. Because Flareon could be a great attacker here. So we're going to take out his Shaman. And I really don't think he can take out Flareon next turn anyways. So we're kind of just going to sweep him with Flareon. And all is well. I know it's not, it's supposed to be the Incineroar deck, but it looks like my boy Flareon is just coming in and smoking, smoking guys with this deck. And a forest, so now we're not doing us less damage, which is pretty awesome to see Shaman. I mean, my opponent is in some trouble. I, does he play like four Lorantis? There's one. Okay, so it is the promo Lorantis, I was right. So, so I guess it's just like Lorantis with like promo Lorantis, which is still a good deck. And we are going to get into two. Again, he's not going to knock me out, so it's not like we're going to lose the energy... Um, because if we whiff energy, we can't attack him with Hustling Strike, but we'll see what this end of two gives me. Oh, two energy, there you go. My opponent hits me with a broken heart. He hits me with a wall plate. Is he going to concede the game? Let's find out if he's going to do it or not, and he is. All right, there you go. He's hitting him with a concede. 25 coins, and we will have enough to buy Guardian's Rising Pack now, which is awesome. Uh, I think we could probably do one more game. I kind of still want to show off the Oricorio. I haven't used the Oricorio yet, you know what I mean? I haven't used that yet, and I still kind of want to use it. I want to at least do one game where I attack with the Oricorio, so I think we can do that. I want to try and get one more game. Maybe we can pull it off. If not, you know, rip. But we will open up a Guardian's Rising pack here, guys, and we will see if we can pull ourselves a GX Pokemon. I'm hoping we can. I'm looking for Sylveon, Tapu Koko, or another Tapu Lele GX. Let's see. Ooh, got a Sharpedo, which is pretty useless. And our rare is, look at that, Oricorio. Fitting for the video. Yeah, nothing really that good. Energy Lotto. Yeah, nothing. That was a pretty bad pack. Nothing really good in there, sadly. But hey, whatever, you know. Not always going to get good things. Um, but yeah, here we go. Find one more game with our deck. But I guess I'm just going to wait and see when the new ladder comes out. I think that's when we'll be able to do a lot more with our Incineroar. Okay, guys, I'm like, let's do one more game with the deck. And we'll see. I want to at least show off the Oricorio. I haven't showed that off yet, right? So I might as well just show it off. And yeah, sorry for that cut. But we will find another match with our deck. One more game. Is it going to be a water deck? Let's find out. Nope, it is going to be a Fighting Steel and Cutlass. He could play Soda Wodo and like maybe like Sokaleo. But hey, if he's using... Oh no, it's going to be Excadrill, actually. Yeah, it's going to be Excadrill. Maybe? I don't know. Um, I guess it is Excadrill. But you know what, Excadrill, you know what that, you know what Excadrill is weak to, guys? It is weak to fire. It's not weak to anything else but fire, which is awesome. Oh, no, it's Lucario. Hmm. That still kind of sucks, because we kind of rely on um, getting Pokemon down on our bench. So that's kind of awkward. Uh, I guess I'm just going to Ultra Ball for a... Grab Oricorio. I'm not going to use this then, because if it's Lucario, we obviously don't want to put Pokemon down. You know what I mean? So, 
I'm not going to. I mean, I'm still going to need knock him out though, right? So, yeah, it's fine. We'll just put one more Pokemon down. We will go Sika. If we draw into basics, we could easily get Captivating Pokepuffed, which is bad because Lucario does do a butt ton of damage, and that damage could amount to a knockout. And ooh, we got the candy. I'm going to Choice Ban. I don't think he plays any GXs or anything, so I feel fine with just wasting that, and we'll pass. Yeah, but we will get Incineroar down next turn, and we might be able to hit ourselves at Fire, hopefully, too. I don't know how many are prized, and obviously didn't get a chance to check. But we can take out either Riolu or Lucario, I think, right? Captain Me Pokemon. Boy, I got no basics in my hand, and now he knows I have the Rare Canyon Incineroar. He's putting him in only active. He's relying on that, and there is the Sycamore itself. Ooh, he's got a little Super Rod and two energy. That is better than nothing. Trainer's Mail, too. Huh. But yeah, I think our goal here is just try to dump as many Pokemon as we can into the discard pile. Uh, basics, anyways. So that we don't get, like, Cadbury Pokepuff stalled and he's getting rid of another one. So maybe we don't have to worry about that after all. There's Lucario. Alright, do we knock? I don't even think it's going to knock this baby thing out, do we? Nah, we'd have to put another Pokemon down. There's a fire. There's a candy. Into the Incineroar. Obviously, we're, we might have to just put one more Pokemon down. I'm just going to end him. I'm, like, yeah, we're not knocking him out, right? We're only doing 50, so we got to put one more basic down. Ooh, Toricat, nice. Okay, that's fine. If we have to put one more basic down, that's fine. Lucario still needs two energy to attack, so it's not like he's going to be able to pull off an attack anyways next turn. Um, because he needs the two energy to pull off, so. Yeah, I think we're going to, and there's Floatstone, so if he tries to Lysander stall, that's not even going to work. Obviously, we probably got this game under in the bag. I mean, we're going to one-shot him. He takes two energy to power up. Unless this dude plays some crazy tech cards, I'm fairly certain we got the game. Or at least a point where we can't lose. Yep, yeah, yeah. there it is. There's the concede. Um, but we'll do one more game. That was a really short game. Okay, guys, let's find one more game. Uh, yeah, that, that Lucario game was very, very short. So I think we can at least fit in one more quick match uh, with the Incineroar deck. And, you know, get another win and win be bad. We can get those five tourney tickets here off the ladder. And yeah, let's see what we are going to be up against a Dark and Colors deck. So this is either going to be Eveltal or Turbo Dark. Or it could also be Umbreon too, because obviously Umbreon could be Umbreon. I guess we'll see. We do win the coin flip though, which is good. Not too shabby if I don't do so myself. Alright, let's see. What are we going to start with? Alright, we got an N at least, so it's not like we're going to get a bad hand again, which is good. Now, Umbreon... If we're playing against Umbreon, I guess my game plan is to not attach as many energy down because of Dark Call. If he Dark Calls one energy off, it's not a big deal because that'll help us. So, it's all good. No Oricorio start, which, you know, it's still not that easy to do, but would have been would have been nice. And we'll see what Dark Deck it is. A Rangaroo. So, if starts with a Rangaroo, so I don't really know. Uh, go N here. Not going to put Tapu Lele down because we're not going to do as much damage. And let's see, what do we find? Um, We got Tapu Lele back. That's That's cool. Um, it's gonna get rid of these guys, I guess, and then let's get myself another Litten. So we gotta learn Cinder Wars in the deck. Uh, one Oracle is prized. Uh, one Candy is also prized, and let's check the energy. Um, all of our energy in the, is in the deck. So I'll just grab another Litten here. Might have Torque in our hand. We can kind of just take advantage of that. That seems good. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just do that. Um, but yeah, we'll see what kind of Dark Deck this is. Is it gonna be Umbreon? Is it gonna be Veltal? Is it gonna be like Zoark Umbreon? I don't know. Uh, my opponent will put a reverse valley down. That's fine. We have no way to get rid of that, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks, but you can't do much about it. But yeah, what will my opponent be able to do? He will end me. I like this hand, but hey, maybe this end can give me like the rare candy and Cinderor play that I need. If he plays Zoark, that could also be pretty bad too, because our thing is all about put Pokemon down on our bench. Okay, we didn't get the Incineroar. We might be able to hit it here, and we got it. Okay, what do we get rid of? Um, well, do this first. Draw two free cards. Okay, that's a lot better. Get rid of... Can't... Can we knock him out? I don't think... Nah, we're not gonna knock him out. Yeah, it's fine. Now I'll get rid of Max Potion, and also get rid of... Rescue Stretcher? He might end me, though. I think I'm just gonna get rid of a... I don't know. I guess we'll get rid of the rescue stretcher. I might regret that. I might not. I don't know. I, I could regret that. I guess we'll see if I'm going to regret that or not. I guess technically you could put heavy ball in this deck too because it's in order to have a 3 tree cost. Sadly, we can't knock him out this turn if we had more fire Pokemon. 
I think a full bench not even gives us knockout either, so it's like wham wham wham. I'm gonna put another energy on and just threaten to knock it with like a burning slam. Like if he plays like an EX down or something, I can just hit it with a burning slam. And yeah, see, we were we, we were we were short of the knock it. We needed to have a full bench, I think, to knock him out, right? Yeah, I think we had we had to have a full bench. He is gonna hit me here and he balloon too. Wow. He's not gonna knock me out, even with the two fires on us. He's only doing He's doing 100 damage, and then he's going to do 160 to me. Holy cow. There is Professor Sycamore. Hmm. Maybe I regret playing the Fire Energy down now, because that math is actually a little weird. I mean, he still do a lot of damage, even with the Bursting Balloon, so it's not a big deal. Does he find a Pokemon to put down and threaten me with? It's just a brown face. So I guess Incineroar is going to take him out here, and my opponent will just hit me with a Psychic for 100. And uh, we'll, give him, we'll give him a well played. And we'll just knock him out with Hustling Strike. I mean, not the most eventful game, but you know what? I'll wrap up the video here. I'm kind of short for time anyways. I don't know how much time left to record a video anyways. You know what I mean? I got stuff and things to do. 25 coins. And let's see what deck he was playing quickly. But yeah, I hope you guys did. Oh, yeah. It was Umbreon, Zork. Yeah. He didn't get much going, unfortunately. Zork could have been threatening because, again, we do rely on having a pretty big bench. So we kind of just dodged a bullet there, which is pretty nice. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, help me. Uh, if you, what am I saying? If you enjoyed, help me on the road 2,000 subs, and also leave a like on the video for more Guardians Rising hype content. Doesn't Cinderwar have potential to be a good deck now? I don't know. I think this deck could make some changes. Honestly, if I were to make some changes, I would add a stadium to the deck. I feel like a stadium might actually not be too bad in this deck, so I think you could add a stadium. Maybe you can take out the Ninja Boy. I did have a game where I used the Ninja Boy and showed it off, but maybe the Ninja Boy just isn't for the deck. Um, but I don't know. There are some changes you can make. You could throw in a stadium. I guess you could throw in Skyfield, but I, I don't think you'd be able to fill your bench up that quickly. But yeah, this is the Incineroar deck I have. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, hit like button. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Leave a comment down below if you think Incineroar has potential to be good. I don't think it does, but I think it's still pretty interesting to take a look at regardless. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Have a good day, and peace out.